Hi, in today's video, we are going to study chemidoids clustering algorithm. Now, what are the disadvantages of k-means algorithm? We will start with that. We all know that means are very sensitive to outliers. They are going to change its value drastically if there is a small outlier present in your data set. So, our goal is not to get affected by an outlier. That's why we do not require or it is not a good practice to go with k-means clustering algorithm but instead it is better to go with k-medoids algorithm. Let me show you an example how an outlier can change the value of mean. Say for example we are given some data points such as 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 10, 12 and 25. Of course, over the series, this 25 is an outlier, but initially we do not know that this data point is an outlier. We have to figure it out how this presence of 25 affects our calculation of mean. So, if we start with k equal to 2 and we are expecting our data to be clustered into two different clusters, initial clusters will be 1, 2, 3 and 6 and another cluster will be generated as 9, 10, 12 and 25. Now, we know that after finding initial clusters, we have to adjust the mean. So, mean of first cluster is now calculated as 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 divided by 4 which is, is equal to 3. And mean of second cluster will be calculated as 9 plus 10 plus 12 plus 25 divided by 4, which is, is equal to 14. Now, using these three two new values of mean, we will calculate the standard error. So, sum of standard error is calculated as the data point minus center of the cluster square and sum of all terms. So, we will calculate 1 minus 3 square plus 2 minus 3 square plus 3 minus 3 square plus 6 minus 3 square. And for the second cluster, we will calculate sum of squared errors as continuing the sum 9 minus 14 square, 10 minus 14 square, 12 minus 14 square and 25 minus 14 square. So this would be come out to be 179. Now, if the clusters are redefined, if we redefine the cluster, say for example, initially instead of these, we will calculate first cluster as 1, 2, 3, 6 and 9 and second cluster as 10, 12 and 25. Then mean of first cluster will be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6 plus 9 divided by now 5 and that would be 4.2. And the mean of second cluster will be 10 plus 12 plus 25 divided by 3 that is, is equal to 15.67. And similarly we will calculate sum of squared error term by subtracting each data point value from its corresponding mean, the difference square and the sum of all the values will be now 113.84. So here, as you can see, a slight change in one data point from one cluster to another is now drastically changing or affecting our mean as well as over the sum of squared error term. So in this way, instead of using mean as a center of a cluster for a data points, we will now use one of the data point itself as a representing the center of a cluster. And that particular method is called as medoid method. Now this method and method, how it is different from centroid method? A centroid is nothing but a mean of set of data points in a given cluster. Whereas a medoid is a point in a cluster which is dissimilar to all other points in another cluster with its minimum similarity. As well as the medoid is a data point itself from a set of clusters which are belonging to a same cluster instead of calculating the mean. Let us see how medoid works. Say for example, we are given some data points which are represented in a two-dimensional space and we are also given initial k value as 2. We can mark any two different data points as our new medoids. So, two new medoids can be represented by letters marked with blue, dark blue in color. These two points are not centroid but they are the data point, one of the data point itself. That's why they are now called as medoids.
Now we will assign all the nearest data point to all these two different medoids. Now as you can see to this data point, this point, this point and this point is the nearest and towards this data point, this rest of the five points are the nearest. So we will assign them to the nearest medoid to an object. Hence we have calculated or we have found initial two clusters. Now we will calculate something called as a distance or a cost of a medoid. That can be calculated as sum of the length from medoid. So for this point 1, 2 and 3 will be the length plus 1, 2, 3, 4. So 3 plus 4 will be 7 and for this 1 and 2 will be 2. So 7 plus 2 total 9 is the cost of this cluster. For another cluster we will calculate cost as for this particular point it would be 1 and 2. This particular point it will be 1. This will be 1 and 2. So this total is 5. Now 1, 2, 3 that is 5 plus 3 is 8. And for this 1, 2 and 3 that is, is equal to 11. So 11 is the cost of another cluster. So ultimate cost of this particular clustering algorithm is at this stage is equal to 20. Now how permutations or iterations are done or performed in k-medoids? In k-medoids within this two cluster you have to choose any one cluster and you can choose any other point as your medoid. Say for example I can either consider this cluster and change my new medoid to any other random point. Say for example, this will be my new medoid. And again calculate the cost of this particular cluster. If it is increasing, I will keep my old point as it is. Or we can either, in another case, I can choose this point and I can choose another this point as my new medoid and again recalculate the distance from all other points to this new medoid and see that what is the cost. If cost is in any case is going to increase, we are going to restore our old cluster medoid. That means this cluster medoid or this medoid. But in any case, if the cost is getting reduced, then our new medoid will be regarded as the newly selected random point. Say for example, we select any random point, this red point as a new medoid for second cluster. Now we will recalculate the distances. Now how do we recalculate the distances? See, uh, if this is the new medoid for second cluster, I will only calculate the distances or the cost of second cluster. So for this point, it will be 1 and 2. This is nothing but the distance from blue point to red point. We are crossing only two cells. That's why 1 and 2. This will be 1 and 2 itself. So 2 plus 2 floor. This is only 1 plus 3. So 4 plus 3 will be 7 and this will be again 4 plus 3, 7 plus 3 will be 10. This is plus 2 plus 3, 1, 2 and 3. That is, is equal to 5 plus 7, 10 is equal to 15 and this will be the next one. So obviously my cost is going to increase by 6 units. So my new cost is 26 and Previous cost was 20. Uh, if we are speaking about only the cost of second cluster, it would wa it was previously 11. Now it is 17. Okay, so it has been increased by six units. So we are not going to change our new medoid to this point. Our medoid will be restored to our original point. Okay, so we have swapped our old point with our random point that is my new old medoid is the good medoid. Now in the another iteration I can go with this cluster and choose some other particular point as medoid or I can continue with the same cluster and choose some random another point and measure the distance. So this can continue unless and until there are no change in any representative medoid. Let us quickly summarize the PAM algorithm, PAM stands for partitioning around medoids, which is equivalent or which is seen as K-medoids algorithm. So we are randomly choosing K points and uh, 
we are randomly choosing these k points and initially data sets are representing uh, we call them as o of j so o of j is nothing but for each particular cluster o of j is our data point which represents a medoid itself we will assign the remaining of the data points uh, to the cluster to its nearest representative o of j that means we are assigning it to the nearest medoid and we can compute its cost now randomly select any non representative point or in a cluster and we can swap or we can consider initially that or with oj okay so we are first changing the medoid and we will calculate its new cost so if new cost is lesser than old cost then we will swap o of j with or that is random point is now my o of j and we can set k representative objects according to the new created medoid and we can define the k clusters on the basis of nearest representative point we can continue this process unless there are no changes or we can set up another criteria such as number of iterations that's why that is what all simplest our pam algorithm is the complexity of algorithm is k into n minus k whole square Thank you everyone for watching this video. This is Munira Topia signing out.